Hi there, I'm John Lebensold, and this is the fifth video in the KillerPHP.com series on advanced MySQL usage. And today what we're going to do is we're going to pick up where the introduction to many-to-many -many relationships in the last video was, and we're going to start looking at how we can extend that and how we can also create various views of our data. And I'm going to start off very simply with a look at how we can express our many-to-many -many relationship and our one-to-many relationship in a simple as possible or a very simple way using what are called views. Now before I get started with the whole views I just want to begin by saying that I have this little script that I've put together and that I keep adding to in every one of the videos that we've been working on and so for now I'm just actually going to move to a new document since now we're going to be modifying things and probably adding some code that uh, I think it's worth kind of starting afresh with something, a new file that we can modify. So I've got a post category table, a, which is actually a cross table or a many to many join table where we basically store primary keys of other tables. We store the post ID and a category ID and thereby are able to link one table to another table. This does mean that the queries are a little more complicated, but the added value is that we don't have any dependencies on our post table. In other words, if we want to link two things, our post table doesn't know anything about categories, and yet we can still get all the categories for a particular post ID with some v relatively simple queries. If and the same holds true the other way around. If I want to get all of the uh, posts for a particular category, you know, if I have the category ID, then I can just, you know, select off of the post category table and find all of the necessary posts there too. So let's get started. Before I go further in, in this example, I want to add some more post category uh, records so that it's a little more interesting. So I'm going to start off just by copying this and pasting it a couple of times and we're gonna add some links. So I'm gonna start adding some links to the more politics uh, posting. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna link it to three, four, five and I think we have a sixth category. Yeah. So I'm going to link it to a whole bunch of different categories. And I'm going to take our Olympics article and I'm going to link it to the sports category and the entertainment category. All right. So I'm going to select all, copy, paste it and that looks okay now in my I'm gonna start with a very simple query here where I say select star from category where ID in select category ID from post category where post ID equals one where basically we're saying okay um, select the category ID from post category where a particular post ID is given and then give me all of the categories associated with that particular uh, particular uh, post ID. So in the same way now if I wanted to do something with the Olympic story let's say I wanted to get all the all the articles related to sports then I would start by saying, okay, select star from category. And then I would find out, oh, okay, look at this. Sports has an ID of five. And then I would say select star from post category, where ID, where category ID equals five. So here I have, if I select post ID from the post category, where the category equals five, then I know that I'm only going to get the posts that are going to have a sports relevant piece of content. So now I can take that a step further and I can do a select post ID comma p dot star 
from post category and then join whatever I see there, left join, to the post table with p. So now that p dot star is actually going to be grabbed from p over here, where category ID equals 5. Oh, p left join on p dot ID equals post underscore ID. There we go. So now we're getting essentially the same thing as a one to many with the left join. So first we grab the post IDs, we figure out that 2 and 5 are the ones that we want, and we know that those are going to be the ones that have the category of sports. Well, that was very simple. So now what if we want to do something with posts and authors? Now the authors and the posts are actually a lot simpler because it's a one to many. So if I want to create a view where I've basically um, I've basically glued posts and authors together and I don't want to have to keep doing all these left joins over and over and over again there's a very simple way of doing that and that's using a view so to create a view is actually very simple we just say create view then give it a name so in this case it's going to be post underscore with underscore authors as and then we just put in the view that we want so in this case it's going to be select p.id, p.title, p.content, a.name, from, actually I also want the email address, a.email, from, post p, left join, author a, on p.authorid, equals a.id. So now I'm just doing the left join and I'm selecting a bunch of columns nothing happens which is a good thing so now if I do show tables I'm actually gonna see that post with authors shows up as a table even though it's just a view and I can say describe post with authors and it will show me post with authors as though it's an actual table I can even select against it and get a nice join with all the necessary content that I want for that view. The other neat thing about this is that it means that I can start using post with authors when I want to build up larger and more complex queries.